The chapter describes the Lord's plan for the Israelites when he brings them into the land he intends to possess and drives out seven larger and stronger nations. After defeating them, the Israelites must destroy them completely. They are to break down their altars, smash their sacred stones, cut down their Asherah poles, and burn their idols in the fire. The Lord chose the Israelites out of all the peoples on the face of the earth to be his people, his treasured possession. He chose them not because they were more numerous, but because he loved them and kept his oath to their ancestors. The Lord will keep his covenant of love with the Israelites, bless them, and increase their numbers. The Israelites will be blessed more than any other people, and they will be free from every disease. They must destroy all the peoples the Lord gives over to them and do not look on them with pity or serve their gods, as that will be a snare to them. The Israelites may be afraid of the powerful nations, but remember what the Lord did to Pharaoh and all Egypt. The Lord will drive out the nations before them, throwing them into great confusion until they are destroyed. He will give their kings into your hand, wipe out their names from under heaven, and no one will be able to stand up against you. The Israelites are to burn the images of their gods in the fire, do not covet the silver and gold on them, and do not bring detestable things into their house. They will be set apart for destruction.